everybody. I'm going to start with my New York folks here. Can we ask you a quick question? Uh, yeah. I, I understand uh, Bernie Sanders seems to think you're not qualified. Hey guys, come on. <laughs> well, it's kind of a silly thing to say, but I'm going to trust the uh, voters of New York who know me and have voted for me three times, twice for Senate, once in the presidential primary. Um, look, I, didn't, I, I don't know why he's saying that, but I will take Bernie Sanders over Donald Trump or Ted Cruz anytime. So it's got it. let's keep our eye on what's really at stake in this election. Um, we have Republicans whose values are so antithetical to what's right for New York or right for America. And I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing with my friends like the borough president and others uh, for all these years to try to really make a difference in people's lives. Did you think that he's competitive in New York? Oh, I, I, that's up to the voters. The voters will decide that. Bernie Sanders is saying also that he thinks it's going to be a contested convention. Would you like to talk about that? Well, Marsha, uh, I don't really know what that means because uh, if someone gets uh, the uh, number of delegates that's needed to be nominated, then uh, the convention will nominate that person. And look, I ran a very contested uh campaign against uh, then-Senator Obama, and it went all the way to the end. We worked really hard. He got more delegates, and so I uh, endorsed him. I worked for him. I nominated him at the convention, because we are going to have to unify Democrats and right-thinking Americans uh, to stand up against the Republicans. Donald Trump or Ted Cruz are just absolutely uh, going to rip away the progress we've made, and Trump with his insults of everybody, uh, is trying to divide us instead of unify us. So let's start with the Democratic Party and uh, go from there. Did you see the Yankee game last night, Secretary Clinton? I'm going to work hard to do that. Secretary, yeah. Secretary Clinton, did you see the Yankee game last night? I know you're a little busy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, but I read about it. I read about it this morning. Was it as uh, exciting and uh, a blowout as it uh, sounded? <laughs> it was pretty good. Um, how does it feel to be back campaigning in the Bronx? It feels great. Um, you know, Ruben and I were just talking. When I first started running for the Senate, I came to the Bronx. That's right. And I came back many, many times and worked to support the great things that are going on in the Bronx. I am so proud of the progress that has been made. You want to want to brag you. a minute on, uh, absolutely. on the Bronx? Absolutely. Look, we, we here in the Bronx have seen for many, many years a friendship with Hillary Clinton, uh, building our housing, 23,000 units of housing in the last six years, uh, $9.5 billion of private investment, creating jobs, cutting unemployment. We've done that with the real democratic values. We've done that by identifying problems and, and working together on the solutions. And we've done that with someone who has been a leader in health care, as Hillary has been. The secretary has been uh, by far the best person uh, that we see in terms of foreign policy. Uh, someone asked me last week, you know, the, uh, Bernie's in the Bronx. Are you feeling the burn? Well, the Bronx hasn't been burning for decades. <laughs> and, and so we here in the Bronx, the way we've done in the past, we're going to be with Hillary. We're going to give her the amount of votes that she needs so that she can win the city in the state of New York go on to win New Jersey, Connecticut, California, and take on Donald Trump in November and be the next president of the United States. Right? Is that correct? Amen. 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 Secretary, you, you, have, said you, are Secretary proud of, you have you have said you're proud of the issue-based campaign Democrats yes. are running. Right. After what Bernie Sanders said last night and after the fact that his campaign manager said that you don't want to destroy the Democratic Party for your ambition to be president, do you still are you still proud of the Democratic race? Well, I'm going to keep talking about the issues, Dan, and I'm going to keep drawing contrast because that's what elections are about. Uh, but I think it is important to tell people what you're going to do for them and how you can get it done, how you can produce results that will make a positive difference in people's lives. That's why I love working with leaders like Ruben because it's all about rolling up our sleeves and getting to work. Don't make promises you can't keep. Know what you want to achieve, and then bring everybody together to get the results. And that's Sanders what I'm going to do in New York, across the country, and if I'm so fortunate, as president. Is he doing a disservice to the party? So far, you have received support of some Latino elected officials, but still there are some sectors that are still not so convinced that you stand for Latino. So what would you message to those sectors that uh, you know might want to try to decide if they're supporting you or not in the Latino community? I'm very proud of my record on behalf of Latino issues and people and Ruben. I don't really know what Latino sectors are you referring to. <laughs> Los Latinos apoyamos a Hillary Clinton. Ella ha sido una líder 
en términos de los asuntos de inmigración. She's been a leader on immigration issues. She's been doing this uh, with uh, that uh, uh, since Ted Kennedy. And, and we know that there, everyone out there who says that they're for the immigrant community uh, hasn't been there in the way that she has been here in the Bronx. 41% of the people who live here were born in another country. So when you look at the progress that's been happening here, we've been benefiting from it. We've been benefiting from her leadership. She's the person who has the ability to work with uh, the world leaders in order to ha have the, the people here who come from those countries feel like they have true, true compassion coming out of the White House. So that's the reason why when you look at every single one of the Latino leaders, we were all here yesterday from the Bronx, throughout the state of New York, and throughout the country. All of the overwhelming majority of Latino leaders know who our friend has been, nuestra amiga. Siempre ha sido la secretaria Hillary Clinton, y por eso que la estamos apoyando. We don't use a token on the subway. You're you're aware of that. Now. Yes. Well, you know, actually, I think we changed uh, when I was senator. I think it was my first term when we changed from tokens to metro cards. So. You're well aware of that. <laughs> I do, Marcia. I am so proud to have represented this state for eight years. I'm a proud New Yorker, and. I want to be a good president for New York and for the rest of our country, but New York values the people of New York. There is no place like it in the world, and I'm going to take those experiences, take those values to the White House if the people of New York uh, give me that uh, great privilege. Thanks. Right, Thank you. You know, a couple